How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at six crazy and creepy facts about Disneyland. Now, I've been at Disneyland when I was a kid in Florida. It is fun. It is fun. So, I don't know what's creepy about it. I'm curious to see how creepy it is, what creepy things Disney has done, and what the mascots are up to. I'm pretty sure it's mostly going to be about mascots, but let's take a look and see how creepy this could be. Comment down below, guys, which one you think is going to be the creepiest. I'll be sure to reply. Let's check it out! video we took a look at some that is haunting theories what the hell <laughs> Disney theme parks including Disneyland and Disney World all right while many of these conspiracy theories held some truth they were for the most part urban legends however in this video we will return to the dark side of Disneyland resorts by taking a look okay. at six spooky and weird facts you may not know about these magical kingdoms all right, Mr. Toad goes to hell. Over the years, there have been many different rides at Disney parks, and many of these rides <coughs> have either been altered or removed over the years. So there's a good chance you may not have heard of the attraction, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. This ride is still operational at Disneyland. I think I've been on this. Built in 1955, but went through some major adjustments. A more modern version of the ride constructed in the Magic Kingdom in Florida was closed in 1998. The ride is based around the character Mr. Toad from the okay. first book, The Wind in the Willows. However, it deviates massively from its source material. As you may remember, Mr. Toad was a madcap character from an affluent family who had a fleeting obsession with many different things throughout the story. One of these being fast cars. And in the story, he crashed these cars due to being an irresponsible driver. <laughs> However, he never died and went to hell, which he does on this ride. That's right, Disney built a ride in which after- Nah, that's actually wild. <laughs> he just killed him off and sent him to hell. That's wild. That is, that is wild. wild. Colliding with an oncoming train, tourists are taken into the very depths of hell, mad. <laughs> and this hell is complete with cartoon demons, a high temperature, and a giant green dragon. It's a strange and eerie design choice, basically showcasing Mr. Toad's death via car crash and his subsequent journey. That's kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty which, funny. Which, as stated previously, never occurred in the original story. The secret tunnels. I've heard of this one. If you've ever been to Disneyland, you may have stopped to think, how does everything run so smoothly? We rarely see character mascots and actors appearing in areas of a park they aren't supposed to. For example, we would likely never see a character such as Peter Pan in Tomorrowland. So how do these actors and mascots navigate the park without wandering through different zones they aren't meant to be a part of? How do shops continually get restocked without us ever seeing giant pallets of merchandise being that's, unloaded? Well, maintaining the illusion crazy. of fantasy within the park was something Walt Disney had always held very dear. He wanted guests to lose themselves in this magical kingdom. One day he spotted a cowboy wandering through the wrong zone and was dismayed. A cowboy wandering around rocket ships looked very out of place. Uh -oh, and so, when he began to start work building the Magic Kingdom at Disney World Resorts Florida, Walt made the design choice to construct over 390,000 square feet of secret tunnels what? underneath the park itself. That's, cr that's These actually mad. The tunnels had since become the setting for many spooky stories and creepy past. Yeah, I've heard, well I've heard of those. Urban legends which claim there are nefarious goings on within them. However, in reality, these tunnels are simply a way for characters such as Mickey, Donald, and Goofy to- Nah, man, if I'm in that tunnel and I see fucking Mickey Mouse walking towards me, or if I see freaking Minnie Mouse running after me, bro, I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna start throwing my fists at them, dude. Like, that's gonna be fucking terrifying. That is absolutely terrifying. Get around the park without walking zone to zone in plain sight, thus maintaining the illusion of fantasy for the public. 
They are also used to store food and merchandise sold throughout the park, as well as containing facilities for the staff to enjoy their breaks in peaceful, air-conditioned surroundings. Still, it's strange to consider there are Disney workers wandering around beneath our feet. Yeah, that's kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. Through the park. It is kind of weird. Like, think about it, right? Think about it, guys. Think about it. You're walking in Disney, um, you know, in, in Disneyland, and then you just know there are, that there are people working under you, like literally under you. Like, there's literally a Mickey Mouse mascot walking around or uh, spooking somebody literally under you and you can't even hear the screams or anything because it's 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 hidden well that's weird okay club 33 the let's Mickey check it Mouse out club isn't the only club at disney there is an adults only vip area that is shrouded by mystery and okay spoken about this secret club is known as club 33 Although now advertised as a major attraction for the rich and famous, it was not always this way. It was once a very secret society. In fact, the door to Club 33 in Disneyland was originally painted a very specific shade of green, known as Go Away Green, to subconsciously deter the park's guests from becoming too interested. Hmm. It first kind opened of... in Disneyland California way back <coughs> in 1967 as a way to entertain celebrities and Disney investors. The membership fee remains incredibly high to this day, around $30,000 and $15,000 nah, 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 nah. <laughs> to maintain your membership. Nah, but hell no. 500 people on hell no, who, who would pay 15 k annually to be part of Club 33? And just go to Disneyland for okay that does, that does sound pretty nice but like fifteen thousand is way too much man I'm maxing out like at hundred annually like nah bro a hundred annually or thousand for lifetime is what I would go for honestly like that is outrageous absolutely outrageous secret society I wonder and why there is a long waiting list that rarely accepts new members. At least until very recently when the club opened up a little more to the public. This leads us to wonder who the elite members of Club 33 are and who has been part of this club over the years. It's probably the precedence and everything. What goes on behind this closed door in Club 33's secret lounge? Feral animals, okay. This is a strange one. <coughs> You may have noticed at certain Disney parks, especially the one found in Orlando, Disney World, I've there been are that many one. cats wandering the grounds. This is intentional, remember. as the cats are said to be a way of maintaining the pest problem that comes with any huh. outdoor attraction, rats. However, as these cats are essentially wild animals and feral in nature, the employees need to make sure they do not attack the guests, and are actively encouraged to deter them from doing so. The same can be said for the geese which inhabit the many ponds and lakes around the park. A former Disney employee commented, The geese are the real threats. Really? They're extremely territorial. They hiss, they bite, and they will chase you. Bro, so I just kicked them. Avoid these particular <laughs> animals if you spot them. So in Canada, them. right, we have a couple of those geese. They're called loonies, I believe. And um, yeah, I've heard a couple of stories, they're running after people and things like that, but dude, if they came running after me, I, I, just, I just kick it. Like, what is it gonna do? They're gonna, they're gonna like, you know, attack me in a, in a horde? <laughs> Please. Abandoned parks. Interesting. You may remember in our Disney Conspiracy Theory video, we talked about the allegations surrounding the closed Disney park, Discovery Island. It's worth recapping this story Damn. of the park here, as well as noting that there have been several other closures by Disney over that the years. That is terrifying. This is not exactly creepy by itself, it's simply the way businesses work. However, the parks themselves <laughs> definitely have a creepy vibe to them following their closure. The two most prominent closures were water parks, Discovery Island in 1999, and River Country in 2001. It does look pretty fun. Both of these lie. are located at Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Rumor has it that Discovery Island was closed down due to the mistreatment of animals within the facility, and River Country was closed due to the lack of guest demand. 
The creepy part of all of this comes from their continued state of decay. Each of these parks remains abandoned and gated off to the public. They are now ghost towns, ruled by nature and still located within the main park. That's kind of weird. not maintained in any way. They are overgrown and wild. Disney warns guests to stay away from them and not to trespass as they are no longer safe. Due in part to toxic pollution around Discovery Island, making the water dangerous and alligators inhabiting the shallows. Oh, hell no. Means it's inadvisable to swim out to take a look. This hasn't deterred people from doing so, however, and capturing both photographic and video footage of the state of these parks. Discovery Island. I think it'd be pretty fun to like go there for a video, check it out. Although the alligator part does kind of get me, you know, a bit very. But I think it'd be a pretty fun video. I think it'd be fun to like see what is behind the scenes of a abandoned Disney park, and if I could like you know pick something cool out from there or things like that because it's so much land unused like it's a good thing i guess but at the same time it's bad because of the toxic stuff out there but i'd love to check it out like i'm curious especially looks pretty creepy in this footage number one Disneyland Paris, okay. Disneyland Paris is a place for European guests to experience the magic of Disney without having to take the journey all the way across seas to the United States. However, there are some morbid stories tied to this park involving the deaths of park staff and visitors. Holy shit. The first comes from the suicide of a chef who worked within the park in 2010. This is sinister due to the fact he referenced to Mickey Mouse shortly before taking his life. What? In his apartment, police discovered writing all over his wall stating, I don't want to work for Mickey anymore. That is However, scary. Disney denied there was any evidence to tie the man's death to their company. Fast forward a few years later to 2013 and we have evidence of another attempted suicide, a man trying to set himself on fire, but luckily was stopped before any serious injury occurred. And that same year, a young child was seriously injured on one of the park's water-based attractions. There have also been numerous reports of poor work conditions at this park, driving Holy the shit. to a breaking point. It really seems as though working long hours while forced to put on a happy face all the time can eventually take its toll on a person's mind. Oh yeah. So while we often view Disneyland as a magical kingdom, it seems, as with anything in life, it also features its fair share of darkness. What? That is terrifying. <laughs> but that's crazy, that guy killed himself and, and, and said, I don't want to work for Mickey. Like, and the other guy tried to like, burn himself to death which is absolutely crazy and nuts um the thing with the big companies like disney and everything is there is always a bigger picture i think and and it's uh definitely there is stuff happening out there which no one knows about but then again it's with every company it's not only disney or freaking universal it's like every company i think in my opinion and um yeah it's crazy this the, the stuff happens so these are less creepy and more strange in my opinion like the cat one was actually kind of fun to kind of understand why there were so many cats around but yeah that is pretty cool pretty interesting